Welcome to Grading Assignments. In this video, I'll show you how to grade your assignments and assignments was previously called Dropbox. So let's get started. So in this course, I have an assignment that I know I need to grade. So when you log in and you're on the D2L organization or the courses or the homepage here, you will start to see this quick eval start to fill up. So the quick eval, you can access it um, through here on this link, or you can view anything that needs your attention for grading through this widget. So if I clicked on this, it will take me directly into this assignment that needs to be graded. However, in this video, I'm going to take you right into the tool. So I'm going to click on the course, and I'm going to click on Assignments. Now in here, I'm going to click on the word Assignment 1, and the first thing that I want to point out to you is this Show Search Options. So we have a lot of times an instructor will say, I know somebody has submitted, but I can't see it, or for some other reason. So this show search options will allow you to see a bit more. So when you click that drop down, you're going to get users who have submitted. So what if you have a student who hasn't submitted yet? Then you can click on this here. And then in order to get to it, then you have to click on this search. So then I know in this class I only have a few students. The only one who hasn't is, of course, this demo, and that's fine. So we're going to go back in. I'm just going to go show everyone, and there you get to see all the students. So you get to see that I have Tina has submitted, and I have Spider-Man that have submitted. So let's go and begin evaluation. Once you click on evaluate from the other page, you're taken right within the D12 inline viewer. So in this inline viewer, you can use some of the annotation tools within D12. So if I wanted to highlight, I can select my highlighter and I can scratch something out or I can even add in a comment. I can add in a comment. In here, I've actually already graded this one. So if you've had a rubric and you wanted to attach your rubric and you've already had that in there and you're going to grade with it, you can select through the difference criteria and you'll see that it's automatically going to save each level as I grade them. So here I had it graded as five. And if I select this down, this is going to go back in because this is what this one was saved to. So we're doing great. And then it's going to automatically change that student's grade with the rubrics that you have. So here I'm going to select it in. In this one here, the student has been provided references. So they're going to get in a zero and it's going to change their overall grade. And now I can also add in my feedback that goes directly to the student. I can record a video, even an audio message for that student, or you can upload a file. The two options that you get when you're grading your assignments is save as draft and publish. Publish, students see it right away. Save as draft means I'm going to save it, which I have done for these already. And then I can come back in and publish all the work to the students at once. So that way the students all see their grade at once. So if I go into the next student, again, I was in here earlier, you'll see that I already had some grade calculations set and I've already added in my comment. I can come back in and change that if I wanted. And if I select publish, that means she's gonna see it right away. So let's go back and take a look at what happens after you do. So you'll see the difference. Spider-Man here is not able to see his grade yet because it is draft, but Tina Turner was notified of her score in this assignment. So if you find you have that, you can come in and you can do them one at a time if you wanted to publish them to your students or do them as a whole class and publish at once. So in this one, I want to publish now for Spider-Man. I'm going to select his name and I'm going to go select publish and then I can say yes. So now he gets to see that his score. The nice thing about using this is you get a nice shot view of everybody's work here. Um, you can view the submissions tab as well. Please make sure that you view more than 20 per page. Um, in this example, I only have the two students in my class. However, there are large classes and you may end up having to view 200 per page. But really, that's all there is for grading assignments within D12. 
Thanks for watching.